a resurgence in COVID-19 cases is showing up in some of the alternative data used to gauge that recovery. Steve Leisman is here. He joins us right now with his Roadback Barometer. And Steve, how are we doing? Uh, taking a step back, uh, Becky, what we see is that there's been a uh, impact of this resurgence of the virus on employment and on spending around the country. And let's get right to the roadback barometer. What we're looking at is the home based data here. Uh, they service 60,000 small businesses and have uh, do the, the scheduling and other things for about a million employees around the country. And we and others on Wall Street have been following this data. What we did here was a, a sort of a special run of the data. We looked at states other than Florida, Texas, and Arizona, took them out. What we see is that a 23% decline relative to the January baseline in employment. But then you look at Florida, Texas, and Arizona, that's a 30% decline. As I'll show you in just a second, those states were leading, now they're lagging. And I want to show you a new index we have, the KBW Restoration Index. They put together 13 high-frequency indicators, uh, and this is a, with a one-week lag, unfortunately. And you will see in a second what's happening to the improvement that has slowed down. Let's go back to the home base data. The blue line here represents <clears throat> the uh, three states that have had the resurgence, Arizona, Florida, and Texas. You can see up until about the middle of June, they were leading the country. Now they're lagging the country. Just so you know, those two dips you see in the chart, one of those is Memorial Day. The other one is the July 4th weekend. So that shows up in this high-frequency data. We can't get rid of it. But you can see that there's been an effect on employment that could show up in the jobs report. Now let's look at the KBW uh, Restoration Index. That improvement pace has slowed. As of a week ago, it was still improving, but just a 1% improvement, and it was improving much more strongly before that. That's the result. Now, credit card spending, J.P. Morgan saying it's flattened out the improvement they had there in their high-frequency credit card spending. Here's a quote from their latest report. We continue to see that the pullback in spending since late June has been widespread across states. There is some correlation between the spread of the virus over the last two weeks and the pullback in spending. Now, this is what's really interesting here. We still find that states with higher levels of spending, especially when the card was present in the restaurant, have seen more rapid growth of the virus in subsequent weeks. So, Becky, what they're seeing here is that when more people went to the restaurant and spent it with a lag of several weeks, they would see the virus creep up. So that should be something I wonder if the people, the public health experts, are looking at that kind of data as well.